uh, all right, uh, what's up? Uh, so this video is gonna be a little different uh, from my usual videos, obviously. Um, and I feel weird doing the whole fucking, my whole usual intro, so sorry. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to sit down and give a little update on everything. So last week, me and my buddy Jacob, we made a video about Sebastian Bales, or Sebastian Balls as we called him. His name was Sebastian Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and his girlfriend, Lauren Godwin. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I urge you to, to go watch that. Uh, so you're, you know, up up to speed, I guess. Um, but if not, here's a here's a recap. Sebastian Bales and Lauren Godwin are two uh, very popular creators on the app TikTok. We all know it. Um, they're so popular that TikTok even put a thing that, on their profile that says they're popular. Wow. It says that they're a popular creator. The only popular creator I want to see is God. <laughs> so they make a lot of really uh, cringe-worthy content on TikTok, but we're, the bread and butter of their bad videos, they take place on YouTube. They make these fake prank videos and they play them off as 100% real all the time. And obviously these videos aren't for me, I don't like them, they're not my cup of tea. If I took a sip of tea and it tasted like a fake couple prank, I'd I throw up. But we made a video last week about uh, a certain video of Sebastian's in particular called Fighting in Front of Our Friends Prank, where the premise of the video was to pretend to be in an abusive relationship. Yeah, just holy shit, just so fucked up in every way you could think of it. Um, and usually when I make videos about like bad content, uh, cringy content, just content that is just, you know, inherently bad. I have a lot of fun making jokes and stuff about it and just making funny videos about it, but this one I had a really tough time. Like, several times throughout filming, me and Jacob had to stop and look at each other and be like, this is, this is hard to make jokes about, because it was just so fucking off-putting. We had to resort to, like, making jokes about tripod anal beads and fucking balls vlogs, dude. Welcome back to another ball vlog. That, because we, we couldn't make jokes about the actual subject matter, right? So, well, yeah, I mean, I say that like we weren't gonna make those jokes in the first place, but you know what I mean. But seriously, dude, it was fucking really tough because no matter how you put it, what Sebastian and Lauren did was fucking disgusting, right? It's weird, it's really gross, right? This is like a, people have to fucking go through that every day. And it's like a traumatizing thing. Like it ruins lives, right? On average, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States. During one year, this equates to more than 10 million women and men. One in three women and one in four men have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. Like this is a real issue, Sebastian, right? Not like a, just a fucking stupid little, little thing for your little couple vlog, right? Like. So I ended my video urging Sebastian Balls to uh, donate the ad revenue from that video to a charity that helps and supports women and men who, who go through a, something as terrible as an abusive relationship. Do it. F you. Do it as Sebastian, well. Sebastian, you, dude. Do it as well, Sebastian. And I'll show the receipts. And at the time of filming this video, uh, I haven't been contacted by Sebastian. I haven't seen any tweets or Instagram things of him actually donating any money. But I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, okay? Maybe he hasn't seen my video, right? That's, that's a possibility. People make videos making fun of him literally every day. So maybe mine got lost. <laughs> maybe got, you can't watch all of them, right? But I also got like hundreds of comments from you guys on that video he posted of you guys saying like, hey, donate the money. What the fuck are you doing? Which is fucking awesome. Like, thanks for you guys for doing that. And you know what? This is just a theory, but I feel like he saw, he's seen those comments, right? Because someone who cares so much about how they look and how they're portrayed, uh, I feel like he must be reading every single comment. But, it's a theory. I don't know. I also ended my video saying that I was going to be donating my ad revenue from the video that I made critiquing Sebastian's video. And that is true. That is the thing that I did. Thanks for honking your fucking horn. I donated the money to a foundation called Love is Respect. And if you've never heard of them, they're an organization based in the US where highly trained advocates offer support, information, and advocacy to young people who have questions or concerns about their dating relationships. 
They also provide information and support to concerned friends and family members, teachers, counselors, service providers, and members of law enforcement. They also offer free and confidential phone, live chat, and texting services 24-7, 365 days a year. So I have donated my ad revenue to that charity and Sebastian Balls, I urge you to do the same, okay? And I wanna make it as easy as possible for you, okay? Because although your skin is bright, I don't know if you are. So uh, in the description, the donation link is the first thing. The first thing you see, it's right there, okay? I also read in an interview with you that uh, a majority of your income comes from your TikTok live stream. So this is literally the least you can do, Sebastian Balls, all right? Not up, Team Balls, dude. <laughs> Donate the money. I just let you guys know, I'm not making this video to like cancel Sebastian, you know? I, that's not why I made my other video. That's never, that's never my intention with any of my videos. Um, I just noticed a, uh, a, a, a trend that was pretty fucked up that's happening on YouTube that no one has really been talking about. So I wanted to talk about it and shed some light on it and say why, how, like, say how wrong it was. And you notice that I say trend because <laughs> they're not the only people who did this video premise, which is insane. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but uh, I just want to let you know that this is a thing that's happening. Okay, fine, I'll name some names. JD Vlogs, The Sands Family, The Prince Family, Milo and Hazel, Carmen and Corey, Nate's Life, <laughs> She is Michaela, Addie Fishman. And these are just the first ones that popped up. There are dozens and dozens of these videos. I don't know, dude. I really appreciate the uh, the feedback that I received on the uh, on my video I posted last week, and it's obviously it's a, a thing that's really close to home for a lot of people because it's a very common thing. Um, and and on top of me donating my ad revenue, I, I'd really appreciate it if you guys also donated some money. Um, you know, one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever whatever you can give. Uh, that'd be it, it helps out so much. Um, I know a lot of people aren't in the financial situation where they can be donating money. And I totally understand that. So yeah, you can just, if you, if you wanna help out, uh, share this video, tell your friends, uh, you know, just, just get the word out there. Um, it's, it's an easy way to help. And in the last few days, uh, we've been talking to Love Is Respect and um, they, they seem fucking really awesome. And uh, so I, on top of my ad revenue donation, I will also be matching your guys' donations up to $10,000. So, uh, click the link, donate money, and we can actually, uh, turn this, sh turn these shitty fucking videos <laughs> into something good and positive, right? Little disclaimer, uh, Love is Respect is, uh, an American charity. They do work in the U.S. So, for all my, you know, Canadian, international fans, um, if, if you want to donate to a charity that's in, in your country, um, I'll leave a list of, uh, don't, of charities in the description. But yeah, uh, majority of my audience is American, so I, Feel like that made the most sense to do that but yeah please share the video uh with everyone you know like it so it gets pushed out into the algorithm because i don't know if youtube's gonna like this one that much um and yeah dude tweet at sebastian tweet at him urge him to donate the money me and jacob already fucking went in on him for like 20 minutes so i don't think you need to be mean about it just just tweet him be like hey man uh please donate your ad revenue to love and respect leave leave the the donation link in the tweet and I don't know, hashtag team balls. If you want, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to, but team balls is very funny. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back to making stupid fucking sketches in front of a green screen next week. But yeah, I just wanted to hop, hop on here and, you know, explain wh what we're doing. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for, for watching last week's video and for the positive feedback on it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys donate uh, to love is respect. Um, especially this time of year where people need it the most. So seriously, thank you so much. Uh, love you guys. Peace out.